how's everybody doing today? I actually come up here to the bathroom because it's really loud downstairs. They're watching a movie and so I thought, oh, this might be the most quietest, quietest spot right now to kind of film this little intro for the video. But I hope everybody's having a good day. And first of all, I just want to thank you all again for all of your kind words, your comments, your support. It means the world to me. And I try to get through every comment, definitely read them all. And just thank you, thank you so much. You guys are so awesome and so supportive. So in this video, I'm gonna do a DIY from the Dollar Tree. I did this um, in our patio uh, landscaping, like on our walkway, uh, it's about two years ago, I think. Maybe even three. It's lasted like for a long time. Um, but it's like a DIY to light up your patio steps or, you know, anywhere you want a little bit extra lighting um, that's solar powered. So I thought I would take you step by step through that, showing you um, the DIY. It's super easy and super fun and very inexpensive, so good for the budget. Um, and then at the very end of the video, I was going to share a DIY that I did in my kitchen. My mom had an idea. She's like, well, why don't you just show some of the DIYs you've done in the past, even though I don't have a video of me doing them. Um, I can still share, you know, what I did and what I used just for some ideas. Um, so at the end, I'm going to show a little video of what I did in our kitchen, making some wall art out of old calendars. So stick to the end if you want to see that. And once again, thank you all for all your support. And without further ado, we'll get started. First, I put on a pot of water to make some herbal tea. I love to drink herbal tea or the decaf tea at night. So I put that on so I'd have something to sip on while we do the DIY. This one is the blackberry sage. I wish you could smell it. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. It tastes really good. I don't even add sugar to it. I just like the taste of it, but it's by the Republic of Tea. So to start off, I got these three white baskets from the Dollar Tree. They have them back there where all of the storage uh, containers are. And so they were each a dollar. Then in the crafting section at Dollar Tree by like the glass vases, I got these bags of glass rocks and then a bag of the white rocks. They had lots to choose from this time, but I liked the blue and white look together. So I got two bags of the blue ones per basket and then there were more rocks in the white bag. So I just got one uh, big bag, or no, I'm sorry, two big bags of white rocks to go split between the three baskets. Here I'm just evening all of them up, kind of distributing them between each three baskets. Now one thing I did is I poured all the blue ones in first and I kind of wish I wouldn't have done that. So you'll see towards the end here I take blue ones out and put some more white ones in because I kind of wanted the blue ones to be on top more. So next time I'll just kind of add the white ones first and then put the blue on top and then mix them in a little bit. I was kind of using the white ones as more like a filler to kind of fill it up and give it more. So these are the solar powered lights that I got from, I actually got these from Family Dollar. The Dollar Tree was out of them, but they were still only a dollar. But you can normally get them from the Dollar Tree and they look just like this. And they have these little pull tabs that you, when you're ready to start using them, you pull those little tabs out, then they start collecting the light. So right now I'm just making a hole in the middle to put this down in. 
and then I'll add some more rocks around to kind of support it. It's amazing how much light these actually put out for only a dollar. Now I'm just adding those blue rocks that I removed um, to put on top just to give it a little extra color on the top. Well, it's currently raining out right now a little bit. You can hear the cicadas, they are so loud. But I've got them sitting out here, just on each little step. You can see where the little step up, and it'll kind of light it up, which is a hard part to see at night. So I'll show you tonight too, I'll get a little video of what they look like lit up. But I think they turned out really cute, I'm excited to see. I love the blue and white. So yeah, tonight I will get another video of showing you what they look like all lit up. Here they are at night. Sounds like an airplane going over. You can see that they put off quite a bit of light for just a dollar and they do last like a long time. And I didn't have them out here very long today at all and it wasn't a really, well it was raining a lot of the day they still took in a lot of light, so they light up the stairs pretty nicely. They're really cute. Almost looks like a candle. And I don't know if you can see how the basket kind of makes a really pretty like reflection on the stairs, the light through the holes of the basket. Here's a view coming up the walkway. You can see my shadow. <laughs> from our bigger security light. But it was always hard for me to see with this dark porch where the next little step up was. So now we can see it. And now for the DIY that I did in our kitchen. I did this a couple years ago. Um, if you watch the video of the history of our home that I made, um, in that video I told how our house is actually the house that I grew up in. And so my dad built this kitchen back in the 1980s, like the late 80s. And whenever we moved in, it had wallpaper all over up here. And so it was ready for a change. And my mom and I and my dad and um, my husband stripped all the wallpaper off, which was quite a job. <laughs> it's such a tall ceiling. Um, but we got all of that off and we painted it this brown color. And I kind of wanted to go with a coffee theme, um, like browns and teals in the kitchen, but I couldn't find like what I wanted to put up there for wall art. And it just was such a big wall, it needed something. One day I was shopping at Kohl's and I saw this old calendar in the clearance section for like a dollar or something. And it had these pictures on it. I thought, oh, that's exactly what I want to hang in the kitchen. What could I do with that? So I bought the calendar, took it home, took it apart, picked my favorite pictures. So I'm not sure what months are up here, maybe January, April, March. I'm not sure which ones these were, but I took them out. I bought some canvases from Michael's, um, like a pack of canvases. By the way, never leave Michael's or Hobby Lobby without getting on your phone or something. There's always, almost always a coupon. And so I got like a package of these canvases for like half off. So like they were super cheap. And I painted them all with like a crafting paint. You know, that was one of those little craft acrylic paints. I painted them like a beige color, the canvases. At first I tried gluing the picture onto the canvas, but that didn't really work very well. So the canvas was a different size a little bit than the picture so it had like a fold over the top and a fold over the bottom there was enough space so I took a staple gun and stapled the top and the bottom across to hold the picture on 
and then I just took the acrylic paint kind of painted over the edges all around to make it all match cover the staples and that's all I did and this is how it turned out it's been up there probably for about four years now and they've stayed put and still look the same and then the saying the little prayer in the middle um, I got off of Amazon um, for like $9.99 uh, it was before I had a Cricut um, so I ordered that from Amazon put that on there and yeah so this is how it turned out and we were really happy with it and it was like super inexpensive like less than 20 bucks to make all of these pictures and so it's amazing what you can do with old calendars as they have really pretty art in them so this will wrap up today's video thank you all so so much for watching and i can't wait to see you next time take care and god bless